Hello everyone, you are watching my YouTube channel Chemistry by Sadhanwar and my name is Sadhanwar. I am online expert science and chemistry coach. I have been providing my tutoring services across the globe and this is my WhatsApp number to join my one-on-one -on -one individual classes. You can contact me via this WhatsApp number and today what we are going to discuss Today we are going to discuss something special. This is one question which I have chosen from uh, the, the paper, from the past paper. And one of my students from Malaysia, her name is Mai, and she discussed this question with me. And I want to discuss this question with you guys. The question is here. You can see about this question, question number six. Let me show you the title of paper as one as well let me show you title of paper this is uh, igcse exam and october november 2019 and this is its code is mentioned there and the question is mentioned in this paper means we have chosen the question from this paper and the question number is six this is past paper i want to discuss this question with you guys but before going to solve this question, this is question number six. Before going to solve this question, I will need to discuss some very basic mathematics with you. And let me open my whiteboard. Probably I am pretty sure that you guys must like chocolates, chocolates. Would you guys like chocolates? Do tell me in comment section as well. Just imagine if you want to buy, if you want to buy a chocolate and shopkeeper told you the price of a chocolate is 80 pounds or 80 dollars, whatever the euro currency is, or 80 ringgit, the price of a chocolate is 80 pounds. So, what should be the price of one chocolate? So what should be the price of one chocolate? If the price of 80, if the price of eight chocolate is 80 pounds, then what should be the price of one chocolate? Probably most of the students will say that 10 pounds let. Yes, this is this will be 10 pounds, but let me clear the procedure by which you are saying the price of price of one chocolate will be 10 pound so if you need to buy one chocolate then you must pay 10 pound and how you calculated that 10 pound S listen very attentively guys this is 80 here divide this 80 by this number so the rule is divide this number by this number if you want to do calculation for one. So you can say it will be 10 pounds. Okay. But if you need to, if you need to buy 100 chocolates, if you need to buy 100 chocolate, then how much you need to pay? The rule is multiply this value, multiply this value with this value you will get the answer. You will get the answer when you multiply this value with this value, you will get the answer. Whatever the answer is, I am just focusing. I am just focusing the procedure by which we can do such type of calculation. Just for a quick recap, the price of eight chocolate is 80 pounds. And if you need to buy one chocolate only, then its price how we calculate its price, divide this number by this number. And if you need to buy 100 chocolate, if you need to buy 50 chocolate, if you need to buy 25 chocolate, the rule is, the procedure is, multiply this number with this number. Now let's apply the same chocolate method here. So now guys, this is the question. And let me read question quickly. Dilute hydrochloric acid react with aqueous sodium carbonate. The chemical equation is given here and 25 cubic centimeter. This is the volume of sodium carbonate 
was placed in conical flask with a few drops of suitable indicator. It was titrated against HCl of concentration 0 0.180 mole per cubic decimeter. And 0 0.180 mole per cubic decimeter, this is the concentration of HCl. 20 cubic centimeter of HCl was required. 20 cubic centimeter of HCl means the volume of HCl. And what we need to calculate, we need to calculate the concentration of sodium carbonate in moles per cubic decimeter by using the following steps. So you guys can also read question. Uh, let me focus upon the procedure, how to proceed when we need to solve question of such category. Remember guys, remember one cubic decimeter, this is the unit of volume, it is equal to 100, sorry, it is equal to 1000 cubic centimeter here. And in the question, we need to calculate the number of moles first. And they have given us the concentration. So the concentration of HCl, the concentration of HCl is 0 0.1. 80 mole per cubic decimeter. What does this mean? Need to be focused upon this thing. What does this mean? It means, it means one cubic decimeter, one cubic decimeter of HCl solution, HCl solution contain, contain, 0 0.180 mole of HCl. 0 0.180 mole per cubic decimeter. What does this mean? This means one cubic decimeter. One cubic decimeter solution of HCl contains 0 0.180 mole. And I can also, I now one cubic decimeter means thousand cubic centimeter. So I can write, I can write instead of one cubic decimeter, thousand cubic centimeter of HCl contain 0 0.180 mole. Just apply chocolate method here, guys one cubic centimeter of HCl, if we have one cubic centimeter of HCl, then the more number of moles should be here, zero divide this number, 0 0.180, divide this number by this number, divide it by a thousand and use this machine calculator. So when you divide this number by a thousand, use your own calculator the answer is 1.8 into 10 raised to power minus 4. this is not the final answer yet in the question they have said that the volume of hcl is 20 so you need to calculate number of moles for 20 cubic centimeter of hcl so 20 cubic centimeter of hcl how many number of moles should be there the rule is multiply this number by this number now. So when we multiply 1, 8 into 10 raised to power minus 4 with 20, when you multiply this with 20, you will get this answer. You can see here. So the answer is 3.6 into 10 raised to power minus 3. So guys, you can note this answer. I am going to erase it, take a screenshot and also write, I am going to erase it. Okay guys, now going to the next part. And the next part is, calculate the number of moles of sodium carbonate contained in 25 cubic centimeter portion of sodium carbonate. Here, we cannot use the previous method which we used to calculate the number of moles for HCl. 
And why we cannot use the previous method here? Because in the previous method, they already given us concentration. They, they already given us concentration and we use the concentration concept that 0 0.108 mole per cubic decimeter. What does this mean? By using this concept, we could calculate the number of moles for HCl, but here the concentration of sodium carbonate is not mentioned because you can see here, calculate the concentration of sodium carbonate. It means we have to calculate the concentration of sodium carbonate as well. So how can we calculate the number of moles if concentration is not even given to us? Although there are different methods, but we need to think that which method can be used here. Okay. Now just to use a balanced chemical method here. Let me show how this method work. You can see in the beginning of this question, they have given you, they have given you a balanced chemical equation. So you can say this is A part, you can say this is B part, you can say this is C part. A part has done, now going to the part B and I am going to solve part B here. You can see guys, according to balanced chemical equation, let me write, compare the number of moles of reactant. You can say, you can see here two moles of hydrogen is going to react with one mole of sodium carbonate. Just imagine, if you have one mole of HCl, then number of number of mole for sodium carbonate should be one divided by two. You know the rule is divide this value by this value when you need to calculate for one. But in the question they have given you 3.6 into 10 raised to power minus three moles for HCl. So if you have 3.6 into 10 raised to power minus three moles of HCl, then how many moles of sodium carbonate should be there? Divide, multiply this number with this number. Multiply one by two with 3.6 into 10 raised to power minus three. When you multiply this with, the final answer will be 1.8 into 10 raised to power minus three. This is the number of moles for sodium carbonate. Going to the part C, here we need to calculate the concentration of sodium carbonate. I am solving part C here. Here we have to use a formula. Remember guys, concentration is equal to number of moles divided by volume. And the volume for sodium carbonate is given, but the volume for sodium carbonate is given in cubic centimeter and we need to convert in cubic, in cubic decimeter. So divide 25 cubic centimeter by thousand, then you will get the value in cubic decimeter. Divide 25 by thousand, the your answer is 0 0.025 cubic decimeter. So number of moles you already calculated in step B, 1.8 into 10 rows to power minus three. And this is mole. And the volume given in the question is 25 cubic centimeter and you converted it successfully into cubic decimeter. So 0 0.025 cubic decimeter. When you divide, 1.8 into 10 raised to power minus three by, when you divide 1.8 into 10 raised to power minus three by 0 0.025 guys, then your answer will be 0 0.072 moles per cubic decimeter. So this is the final answer. And I have checked this answer in answer key as well answer scheme as well here just i am focusing the procedure how we can solve question of such category there guys i really need your comments i really need your suggestion and if you want to take my one-on-one -on -one live interactive sessions don't hesitate just do contact me i will help you i will teach you and thank you so much for watching do share this video with your classmates and friends okay bye bye